Washington. The U.S. Air Force has no immediate plans to put its nuclear-capable B-52 bombers back on 24-hour alert, although officials have acknowledged the service is making improvements to facilities that could support a change in status should U.S. Strategic Command make that decision. In an October 22 story, Defense One reported that the Air Force was preparing to put the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress back on 24 alert for the first time ever since 1991. The story, based on an interview with Air Force Chief of Staff General David Goldfin noted that an alert order had not been given by Stratcom Head General John Hyten. The report ignited a firestorm of media attention from mainstream publications that interpreted the return to alert status as a foregone conclusion, not as a possibility, and questioned whether this was yet another sign of increasing tension with North Korea. In a statement, Air Force spokeswoman Anne Stefanik clarified that a return to alert status is not imminent. However, she acknowledged there are preparations happening albeit of a more mundane sort, that would support a future decision to return B-52S to a 24-hour alert should combatant commanders decide to do so down the line. And Stefanik said preparations, like updating base infrastructure, such as improvements to alert facilities, munitions storage and dining facilities, conducting exercises, and modernizing equipment are necessary to maintain a baseline level of readiness. We do this routinely as part of our organize, train and equip mission so our forces are ready to respond when called upon. The Defense One report cited multiple improvements the Air Force is making at Barksdale that could lay the groundwork for a return to a 24-hour alert. For instance, it is upgrading an alert facility with more than 100 beds for crew members. Although B-52 crews could potentially use those spaces, it would more likely house the crews of the four nuclear-hardened D-4B doomsday planes that regularly pull 24-hour alerts. The base is also building storage facilities for the long-range standoff weapon, a new cruise missile that can be nuclear or conventionally armed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel.